Most people that have a 3D printer, they start talking about different mods, modding, modification um, to it. And um, I'm a person that if it's working, I don't like to change it, so it's still stock at this point. But starting to think about a couple mods, what could improve it? One is uh, these gaps here. Um, with all of the little pieces of plastic, the little strings and the uh, purge plastic, pieces of plastic that come out. I don't have any right now. Uh, little pieces to get down in here. Then it just not only looks dirty but also could be a, a danger to having plastic that could get uh, back on the print or something like that. So there's all these gaps from the aluminum. Uh, would like to find a way to make it closed off and that doesn't get filled in. Also the spool, the filament, from the spool kind of just gets really pulled down and into the stepper motor pretty straight like that and it doesn't really have much of a kind of uh, smooth way and there's a lot of different ways that people have designed I don't have a lot of space here to put the spool out in this direction so I want to keep it here because I do have the space going up uh, so we're gonna look for some different ways to do this and see if this could be improved as well as kind of fill in these gaps um, and just keep it from getting all uh, plugged up with different things in it. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so I've come to Thingiverse, uh, a place where you can find a number of, a lot, hundreds, thousands of different three-dimensional objects. And if you look for 2020, the aluminum is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters, so it's called 2020 extrusion. This is a profile cover. That'll work. Um, might not be the right size, but you can download the item and then size it to the one you want. Um, this will work too because this will bring the filament out further from the spool. Uh, so yeah, this is a filament guide for Ender 3. That's the one that I have. Uh, as well as this piece here, Ender 3 filament guide. Easy install. Well, I like that. And it just kind of keeps that filament from being wrapped in there really tight and get kind of uh, rubbing on that creating tension, maybe scratching up the surface of it a bit. So uh, just finding these available, uh, you just download them and then uh, bring them over to your slicing program and get them ready to print. Let's do that. Let's see how that works. All right, that profile extension to go on the 2020 aluminum uh, is right here. And then the size, I sized it down to 85 millimeters. And then I'm gonna export this to my slicing program. Right, these are now in my slicing programs and I've put two so that it creates two at the same time. This is gonna be the little bit shorter one and then have some different links here. This is just gonna basically tell the 3D printer how to print it, what kind of paths to take to build it up and so it will take 19 minutes. All right. Let's see it print. Fast forwarding a bit, we've printed out the little filament guide that's going to go by the stepper motor. We've printed out our little gap fillers that will go down over the aluminum ex extrusion. And I've strung the little filament guide that's going to go by the spool and the spool holder. So I've strung it in. Well, let's see what these all look like when we put them in place. Yeah, I like this. This, uh, this definitely fits really nice over top of the spool holder. And it brings this out a good distance away from the spool, so it's not coming right down at an angle. And then this now just has a nice little kind of guide to keep it from being really scrunched and pulled right into there. Um, I like. I like that because then you know it's not pulling on it, stretching it, scraping it. That's going to work good. All right, I've got the back profile covers in place um, back there. And I wanted to show you these going in because it's really nice. It just slides in and then you slide it over and then just it makes a nice little snap fit right into there. It's uh, really a nice fit and it just is a nice feel too. Um, as well as, it's a great look. I think this light blue complements the 
other blue pieces that are on the printer already. So the little belt tensioners and the spool. Uh, so having these on it, snapping in place, being flush, no gaps, it just kind of gives it the racing stripes that I think it deserves. Looks nice, looks cool, um, complements with the others, and it's very functional. So for my first mods, some really simple, easy ones, nothing major, nothing uh, getting into the hardware or mechanicals of it at all, just very cosmetic in some way, but still being functional. I'm really happy with it. And it gives me uh, some ideas of some other things. Kind of like to see that closed up, or maybe even these closed up, and this one. And I know you can also do some across here, so maybe later uh, you'll see a different look here with something being added up here. But definitely the ones where all the plastic little pieces would fall would be down and into this area, which I wanted to prevent. So go ahead and try some on your own. What kind of modifications have you done to your 3D printer? Give us a like if you like the video and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.